I was watching the Yankees yesterday. Their home opener got snowed out, and the home opener was yesterday, and it was miserable weather. So I'm watching Giancarlo Stanton take the golden sombrero up five times and the whiff five times. These goofballs in New York were booing him. I'm going, wait, wait, wait. So it's week one. You're booing Giancarlo Stanton as if you think he doesn't feel bad enough that he struck out five times. Hey, you know what? Let's boo him. Then he'll really realize what's going on here. He'll really feel bad. He struck out five times, his home opener, and you're booing him? I understand if it's Philadelphia, but you're in New York. You're better than that. Yeah, Paul. Are you guys or have you ever been booers with your home team, any sport? I never have. I I never thought that was worth my time. I like to boo the other team. I never understood booing. Your players, your team. I, I never understood that. Don't you think that guy feels embarrassed or feels terrible that maybe it doesn't sink in until you boo him? Like Giancarlo goes, eh, I didn't have a bad day. Now, all of a sudden they boo him. Now he realizes he had a bad day. Yeah, Fritzy. Sometimes it's less letting them know how you feel and more something you have to get out of your own system. I don't. Pers- uh, I was at a Bronco Chief game once. I flew all the way across the country to Denver and watched them lose like 7-3. It was like one of the most boring, horrible games, and there was a playoff spot on the line. And I wasn't like booing them off the field. I mean, you know, you scream things like, come on, what are you doing? Or like, why are you handing off on third and eight? And you're, like, you're yelling stuff like that. But you, I don't think you're actually going, boo, you guys are terrible. You know, you're just angry at the, at the situation at the moment. You know, I don't think you're trying to embarrass your favorite team's players or anything. But don't you think they're trying? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I, okay. I, I, th- I think so, so. It bothers me when I'm like up more upset than the players are. All of a sudden, you're seeing the guys on the sideline and like they're kind of giggling about something or smiling after a turnover, and they and you're taking it far more seriously than. So they when are. you're in row S. Seat nine. Do you think they can actually hear you on the field? Definitely not. Okay. But I, but I'm getting something out of my system that I just I can't. I have to yell something. Yeah. And but there are people that I think that are in the stands that really believe that they're hearing them down there. Yes, McLovin. So I'm obviously the expert here from Philadelphia. You've yes, seen you it. Yes. They, I yes, mean, I have. we booed Mike Schmidt mercilessly. Yes, he's the best Philly of all time. Yes. The only one you didn't boo was Dr. J. He was untouchable. But it's because Giancarlo Stanton's making 325 million dollars, and you said. Part of you thinks, oh, he's getting lazy with the money. I mean, it's just like part of you. No, 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 some no. Anger. I'm not saying he's lazy with the no, money. No, no, but that's what the fans are booing. I think you said you think he's not hurt enough. Yeah, we think he's not hurt enough. He's making 325 million. He probably doesn't care. That's the mindset that these guys are too big for their britches. That's kind of what the mindset is. I'm not saying it's right, but there is. Yeah, I, I was at the. I was. Come on. I see the Eagles winning by three touchdowns and getting booed. It's. It's an animosity towards these entitled athletes. I mean, that's what it is. I, I was embarrassed for Yankee fans because you would think Yankee fans would understand. I mean, they, they, they bring in high-priced talent all the time. And you know what? They're going to fail. They're going to fail at least seven out of ten times. And, and so you're going to boo them all the time? You know, is Giancarlo, do they want to send him back to the Marlins? And the answer is no. So... That's what I don't understand the whole booing part of this. Unless it's what Fritzy says that, you know, I'm angry that you're striking out and I'm, I'm going to strike out at you. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.